Um, and here's our issue. Right now, we tax companies like this at 35%. That's about 20% of American businesses. 80% of American businesses, many of your suppliers, probably some of your contractors here, they pay their taxes as individuals. We call them pass-throughs, like subchapter S corporations or LLCs. Their top effective tax rate is 44.6%. So our competitors to the north, I come from Wisconsin, uh, our competitors from the north, Canada, they tax their businesses at 15%. Ireland, you have a lot of Irish here, 12.5%. Technology tax rate on companies, I was just informed this morning in Israel, 6%. China, 25%, but they actually give you a break in the early years. We're between 35 and 45% on how we tax American businesses. And so one of the big, great problems we have is we're basically taxing American businesses out of America. We're making it really hard for American businesses to compete and succeed in the global economy because of our tax system. What's worse is if we are successful, like Intel clearly is, in being a global company, in making money by by selling um, goods and services overseas, they can't bring those profits back into this country and reinvest it in jobs and in, in, in manufacturing in America for many reasons, but chief among them is because of our tax code. So we have two to three trillion dollars of American um, profits par parked overseas that can't come back to be reinvested in our communities because of our tax laws. So we gotta get these tax rates down. The average tax rate on companies in the world is 22 and a half percent. And when we're taxing American businesses 35 to 45%, that makes us very, very uncompetitive. And so we are convinced that if we get our tax rates down on all of our businesses, small businesses, big and in, everything in between, that we can be far more globally competitive and we can make it make more sense to keep our companies based in America. What does that mean? That means our headquarters stay here. And when our headquarters stay here, that means the affinity and the attachment to the community stays here. That means the Boys and Girls Club gets more funding. That means you know, United Way and local churches and charities get, get more community support like clearly you do here in Portland. And so there are lots of reasons why we wanna make sure that American companies stay America, but we also want American companies to be able to make things here and export them all around the world. 